Good morning again, year four. For SPAG today, we are shifting over to our grammar focus and we're building on our knowledge last week of direct speech. If you can, spend a minute or two just to recap the rules for direct speech. Let me start you off. Rule number one, always start a new piece of speech with a capital letter. Another rule is the spoken words need to go inside the inverted commas. What else needs to go inside the inverted commas? Which piece of punctuation do I need to use to introduce my spoken words as a reported clause? And also what happens if I have two people speaking? Is there a special rule for that? So today we're going to be identify, identifying direct and indirect speech in writing. What do you think indirect speech could be? If direct speech is words that are literally being spoken, what could indirect speech be? Have a think. So within writing, there are two ways to narrate the words spoken by a character. These are called direct speech and indirect speech is also called reported speech. So let's have a look at our alien speaking to us here. He says, I bid you farewell, earthlings. In a direct speech sentence, we would narrate Iggy, Iggy the alien, Iggy's spoken words like this. I bid you farewell, earthlings, shouted Iggy from his spaceship. We know that, we know we have our capital letter, we have the words that have been said specifically inside our inverted commas, we have our punctuation inside that, and then we have our clause after to explain who said that phrase. Indirect speech is when the narrator, so the person um, writing the book, like the author or the person reading the book aloud, um, or telling the story just in general is when it looks like this. So, from his spaceship, Iggy bid farewell to the Earthlings. He's not saying the specific words that he said, this narrator. This narrator is sort of summarizing what's happened. So, we don't need inverted commas. From his spaceship, Iggy bid farewell to the Earthlings. Let's have a look at the indirect speech sentence. How is it different to the direct speech sentence? So, from his spaceship, Iggy bid farewell to the Earthlings. First of all, no inverted commas are used. The actual words of the speaker are quite often changed. The spoken words need to be in the correct tense, extra words may be added. And finally, there is no reporting clauses. I don't want to go into that in too much detail to confuse you. An example as well might be, um, I'm just trying to think of where the speech changes a little bit there. We could say, Mr. Arnold said, inverted commas, good morning you four, how is everyone doing today? I hope you're ready for a fantastic day of learning. Inverted commas. That would be our direct speech. What I could also say is, Mr. Arnold asked the children how they were and if they're ready for their learning. Because that's not specific, just because we're reporting that, we're explaining what Mr. Arnold said, we do not need our inverted commas. How about here? How about these examples? Kayla explained that she used to live in New York. Is that direct speech or indirect speech and why? So this is indirect speech because the sentence is reporting what Kayla explained. She explained that she lived in New York. She used to live there. Okay, how about this? Watch out, screamed George as he launched the Frisbee. Direct speech or indirect speech? If it's direct speech, where do you think the inverted comma should go? 
Okay, well done if you said direct speech. Okay, the inverted commas are spoken words. I don't know why they've gone all wonky, but our spoken words are watch out because that's what George is specifically saying. If this was indirect speech, the sentence might say, um, George yelled at everyone to be careful. Okay, how about this one then? Guthrum announced that they should charge towards the village. Direct speech or indirect speech? Again, it's indirect speech because it's reporting, it's summarising what Guthrum announced. Guthrum hasn't, it hasn't said this sentence. Guthrum announced, inverted commas, charge towards the village. This is explaining what he said. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do is your task today. I'm going to come out of this one now. Your task today is going to be Oh, I've just realized that I didn't get your task up. So let me quickly go so I can show you because I think you'll benefit seeing the scaffold. Bear with me a second. Perfect. Apologies for the delay there, year four. Hopefully you can now see no, we're having a few technical issues bear with me oh there we go we got there eventually so here is your task today this is going to be the sheet that you're fitting in so of course you're going to put by your name so your first task is to try and change the direct speech to indirect speech. So, I want an ice cream, shouted the little boy. Could change too. The little boy shouted how he wants an ice cream. You are then going to try and write one example of direct speech and indirect speech for this photo and one sentence of direct speech and then one sentence of indirect speech to explain this photo. Good luck, use the scaffold, have a great lesson, bye bye.